we've done our warm-up routine and now we're going to start doing some of our drills and the first one here is going to be a carving turn. Now on the river this is a bit easier because we have the momentum of the river to carry us. Here I'm going to use a little bit of the wind. I'm going to come in, the turn starts and I control it at the back with my blade. And so a tip for your edging is to think of um, your edging in, from, as a scale of zero to three. Zero being flat, so edge zero, edge one, edge two, Edge three, point of balance, edge three. Woo! Edge zero, let's do the other way. Always remember to practice both sides. Zero, one, two, three. We've looked at how to hold an edge in a very static way, just sitting here. And then now we're gonna take that to, with the boats underway and moving. So we have momentum in the turn. Now, if we get all the balance of forces and speed and things and angles and edges right, the boats will just continue to carve really nicely and you sit there and do nothing. However, in this environment, on the flat water, that's unlikely to happen. So we need to do things to manage that carved turn. And most of that, what I need to do is by using the blade. So here we go. So there's a few gentle carving turns being controlled by use of an active blade. And when you take this to the river, there's a lot more momentum and there's a lot more energy to control. So the pressure we feel in the blade will be greater. 